Hey team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Today I want to look at some core concepts on the foundations of reading exam. These are core ideas that you're going to need to understand. When we think about phonics, I want you to think phonics has to do with letter sound correspondence. It's linking those letters or graphemes with sound to correctly pronounce a word. A child that comes across the word dog in print, if they were a beginner reader, they'd start by taking each of these letters or graphemes, d, a, g, and matching them up with their corresponding predictable sounds. So when they do that, d, a, g, and then blend it back together, dog, they've correctly pronounced and hopefully identified the word. We call this process when a child takes letters and matches them up with their corresponding sounds to pronounce the word correctly, dog, decoding. Decoding has to do with letter sound correspondence. Another side of phonics has to do with encoding. That's when a child takes sounds in oral language, like dog, and takes the sounds d, a, g, that they hear in dog, and matches them up with their letters to spell the word. So when a child uses phonics to do letter sound correspondence, they're using phonics to pronounce words correctly in print. And we call that decoding. And when a child takes the sounds in words in oral language, like dog, and links the sounds they hear in the word to graphemes, that's called spelling or encoding. The thing with English is that it's not one-to-one -one correspondence. There's a lot of sounds that match up with different graphemes, which makes it tricky. And one sound can be represented in, with multiple letters. So let's look a little closer. Here we have apple and elephant and igloo and octopus and umbrella. Now you'll notice here, apple is short A, elephant, A eh, is short E, igloo, I, I, I is short I. These are all short vowels. So here we have examples of all these phonemes that correspond with short vowels for A, E, I, O, U. All right, this is basic phonics. Okay, now let's get a little harder. Now let's look at spelling patterns that are made up of two letters that form one sound, like sh in shark, or ch in cherry, or th in thread. Now these are called diagraphs. A diagraph is anytime we have two letters that match up with one sound, or one phoneme. When it's two consonants, like the sh in shark, we call these consonant diagraphs. Or when we have two vowels, like E in B or A in say. These are called vowel diagraphs. Vowel diagraphs are like consonant diagraphs, but they're two vowels that make one sound. Or OO like book or boot. Now here we have a vowel diagraph that corresponds to two different sounds in phonics. There's the OO sound in boot and there's the U uh sound in book. Well, that's confusing, right? Well, look how confusing it's getting. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna stick with the basics on this, okay? So we have vowel diagraphs. Vowel diagraphs are two vowels that make one sound. Constant diagraphs are two constants that make one sound. So you wanna stick with the basics. A diagraph is anything where there's two things that make one sound. We have constant diagraphs like the sh in shark, and we have vowel diagraphs like the oo in book. Two vowels that make one sound is a vowel diagraph. Two consonants that make one sound is a constant diagraph. We also have things like ow in cow. Now the ow in cow isn't called a diagraph, it's called a diphthong. What's a diphthong? Well, I want you to touch your jaw and say ow in cow. Say it, ow, ow, and touch your jaw, your throat, go ow, ow. Now, now try and say it without moving your jaw, your throat, and your tongue. Oh, you can't, right? So a diphthong is when there's a blending of sounds and you'll, you'll notice an adjustment in your jaw and your tongue and your throat. Where a diagraph, like shh, now touch your jaw, your tongue, shh, it doesn't move. So a diagraph like shh in shark, shh, there's no movement in the jaw, the tongue, the throat. But in a diphthong, like ow in cow, or boy, oi in boy. You'll notice there's oi or ow. There's an adjustment in the jaw, the tongue, the throat. This is the difference between a diagraph and a diphthong. Diagraphs, there's no adjustment. Diphthongs, there is an adjustment. There's a blending of the sounds. Okay, there's a lot more here with phonics. And, and this is how phonics becomes tricky. There's all these different spelling patterns and all these that match up with all these different sounds. 
And, and for a beginner reader, this can be tricky. But learning phonics, learning how those grapheme or spelling patterns can match up with particular sounds is essential for pronouncing words or decoding words and for encoding or spelling words. Make sure within phonics you know some of these phonics rules. Like you know what the difference between a constant diagraph is and a vowel diagraph. Or you know what a diphthong is. Because these are all basic, basic phonics ideas that you might come across when you're reading these questions on the reading exams. Let's keep going. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.